question. So how to just given the small diagram, the right circuit diagram, you have to calculate the value of current, total current. Okay, this one you have to calculate. And listen to me. So we have to use this one with the superposition theorem. So if you want to calculate some more branches, from the branches you want to calculate total current means you don't use the superposition theorem. That is a very good idea. Okay, that is a main clue. The first one, superposition theorem means you have to, I just tell you the clue, okay. You have to eliminate V voltage comma I current one by one. Okay, one by one. Suppose if one time voltage is, uh, if you make zero means I should be available. And one time if you make I as zero means voltage should be available. Okay, we go to the step number one. What step number means uh, for voltage V? For voltage V, I told you what I told, if I just find out voltage means I have to zero in the current. So what I do, this is voltage, is it right? So I have to make the voltage as it is. So this is a plus and this is a minus. And now what I do, I just uh, draw all these things, but I should not use the current because this current is it right? I have to make it as a simple line, that's a short circuit, okay? And next one, I have to draw as it is all the resistor, but this current also I should not use. I have to make a simpler, okay? So I just uh, told uh, some small thing, I have to eliminate the current. Does it eliminate means what? It should be a open circuit, okay? Uh, so I don't, don't take mistaken. It should be open circuit. I have to just make a two mark. And here also, uh, instead of this one, I have to use the two marks. So here uh, one branch, one more resistor is available, is it right? So here I have to make the two current is available. Now look at here, just name a uh, four ohm and there is a eight ohm as well as a uh, 12 ohm. When you look at this whole circuit, you look at this whole circuit, two complete holes are available, two gaps are available. When you look at this, uh, if a current flow like this also, if a current flow like this also, when the current goes in this way, there would be no such uh, traversing of electron. So automatically, I will be equal to zero. <laughs> That's confirmed. You take the, this one as I1, okay? Confirm the one zero. Because there is no possibility of, uh, because completely the uh, total circuit is uh, open. Now consider the case two. Case two means uh, for currents, uh, because you have the two current sources, one amps as well as three amps. Is that right? One amp as well as three amps. So take the current source of one amps. If you take a one amps means, uh, we have to eliminate the voltage. So in this voltage, uh, don't make it as an open circuit. For voltage means you have to make a short circuit. For current, if you are eliminating means you have to make it as an open circuit. So just simply draw this uh, as a short circuit and remaining all you draw. And remaining all you draw. So what you have to say means you have to just draw completely. And uh, you have to go for the next. And you have to draw this uh, 4 amps. And you have to make it as I2. And uh, this one, this current you have to leave because uh, we are considering only the 1 amps, is that right? So, in the 1 amps available, remaining current and remaining uh, current should be, another current source should be open circuited and uh, all the other voltage source should be short circuited, okay? And as usual, this is uh, 12 ohms, this is uh, 4 ohms and this is 8 ohms. Now, by applying the Ohm's law, okay, what do you have? You have to find I2, right? I2 is equal to, first one, over the I2, what is the main thing? So, in this line, you are having the 12 ohm resistor, right? So, you have to make the 12 ohm resistor. That means what? The resistor connect directly to the current line. Okay. 12 ohm divided by, you have to make once again this 12 ohm. And then afterwards, plus, you have to add these two resistor as per the ohm slum setting. Okay. So, if you don't ohm slum, you have to study from the first year. It is very simple. What does say 12? So, it is 12. So, it is equal to, what do you have? 12 divided by 24 and that is equal to 1 by 2. This is equal to 0.5 amps. And now I'm just going for third one for current source because now we consider the one amp set right here. We consider one amps. Now I'm going to consider. Look at this. I'm going to consider three amps. Current source three amps. So you have to use three amps. Only remaining things you have to make it as a remaining voltage source means short circuit. Current source means a completely open circuit. So as per the thing, a voltage source should be short circuit. And remaining you draw this 12 ohm should be available. But this one amps should be open circuit. Understand is it right? One arm should be open circuit. No oh, issues, no problem. And you have the next uh, four ohms should be available. And here, if you come like this, means you will be having uh, eight ohms. And this is uh, 12 ohms. And here, you are having the three amps. So, this is what you have having there. So, the diagram arrow mark is very important. Arrow mark is in this way. And here, you have to just uh, take it off. So, you don't think about this one. If you just uh, erect, erect also, if you don't erect also, no problem. Now apply the Ohm's law. 
So you consider this as I3, okay, because I1 already we taken, I2 already we found out, okay, and now we just going for I3. So now I3 is equal to, I told you, is it right? So in the current line, what you have, that you have to make it as the top. So in this current line, what you have? Look at this, this current line, 3 ohms line, you have the 8. So 8 divided by, so these two you have to, first of all, 8 divided by 8 you have to use, first, okay. And plus, these two you have to add, 12 plus 4, 16. So automatically you will get 8 divided by, so, and then one more thing I just told you, because into 1 you have to use. Okay, why 1 means, so in the previous one, so why 1 means this is 1 ohms, right? So automatically uh, you will get a 12 by 24 into 1, that is equal to 0.5. So here also you have to use 3 ohms, right? So into 3, that is forgotten, sorry, 8 into 3, 24. So divided by 8 plus 16, 24, that is equal to 1 ohms. That is I3, okay? So total current I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3, automatically I1 is 0, you know, plus uh, I2 is uh, 0.5 ohms, so 0.5. And plus I3 is uh, 1 amps, right? So automatically you'll get a 1.5 amps. That is the answer. So 1.5 option 2 is answer. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have any doubts, come in the comment box.